Good morning, children. We've come to the last of our sessions for preparation for your first Holy Communion. And as you know, I was hoping that in the next week or two, uh, you would all be able to receive our Blessed Lord in Holy Communion for the first time. Now, I think you all realise that something has happened that means that that can't happen exactly as we planned. Because of the Covid uh, trouble, then the churches are closed. So we can't have our first Holy Communion Masses in the month of November as we were planning to do. But I would like you to, to finish your preparation sessions with your mums and dads so that as soon as the church is open once again, you'll be ready to receive our Lord. There are two things, basically, that I would like you to try and remember so that when the time comes for your first Holy Communion, um, it will mean a great deal to you. The first thing is, who is it that you receive in Holy Communion? And the person who you receive in Holy Communion, of course, is Jesus. You know a lot about Jesus. You've heard a lot of stories about him. You've heard the things that he did, and the things that he said, and you know what a wonderful person he was. When you receive Holy Communion, although it looks as though you're receiving a piece of bread, it isn't a piece of bread that you're going to be receiving, but Jesus, the Jesus who you have heard so much about and you know so much about. The second thing I'd like you to remember is who Jesus is. Jesus isn't just a good person. I mean, there have been some very good people in the history of the world. But Jesus is much more than that. Jesus actually is the Son of God himself. And that's very important because it means Jesus can do absolutely anything. He's what we call all-powerful. And when he comes to you in Holy Communion, and he takes up his home with you in Holy Communion, it means that he'll be there for you to help you with his strength and his power, whatever happens to you in life. So those two things, who is it you receive in Holy Communion? Jesus. And who is Jesus? The Son of God. And if you know those two things, you know everything that's really important to help you receive Holy Communion properly when the time comes. I'm saying a prayer for you all the time um, because I can't wait for the day when we can give you Holy Communion and you must be very, very tired of waiting for it. But when that day does come, it will be a wonderful one for you, I'm sure. <clears throat> so now I'm going to say the prayer for the very last session in your preparation book. And I'll leave it now with you and your mums and dads to get yourselves ready so that very soon, please God, you'll be able to make your first Holy Communion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let us pray together. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. You love me, you nourish me, you strengthen me. Help me to grow in love and friendship with you so that day by day I may become more like you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all, children. Bye-bye.